Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to get started with the Ant Core Gen Corpus Creation Tool. And so you can see here that the Ant Core Gen Tool is a single file executable that you can run directly from the desktop or from a USB stick. So you don't need to install it, you just double click it and uh, you can get started with it. You'll notice that it does take a few seconds to start. Uh, what the program does is um, unpacks the the important files into a temporary folder on your computer and then launches the program from there. So here is the program and you can see that there are um, two main components, a text collection tool and a text clustering tool. And in this video I'll only be talking about the text collection tool. So AntCoreGen uh, uh, goes to the plus one open access journal, uh, which is a multidisciplinary journal, and there it um, selects um, research articles of interest in different categories or in different areas of interest. So to use the tool, uh, first you need to choose a folder where you're going to have the corpus stored. So you can see here that um, it's it defaults to the desktop, but we can click a button and choose a folder that we want to save the files in and here we've got my corpus which is you know, at the moment empty and you can see it's just an empty folder so we're going to select that folder and have the AntCoreGen tool save the data into there. Now the second thing we can do is type in and different search queries of topics of interest or areas of interest uh, and we can um, uh, select uh, the title or the author or words in the abstract and so on. Um, but for this demonstration I'm going to use another option which is to pick a category from the plus one journal uh, categories. So we can see here we can pick all the articles from the journal which would be 217,656 articles but we, I'm not going to pick all of those now. We can also select on one of the categories like biological and life sciences and then we can see various subcategories in there that we might want to um, download articles from. So I'm going to pick here cell biology and in cell biology again we can have there are various different sub subcategories that we can choose articles from. So I'm going to look here at cell processes and in cell processes we can see again various different topics, cell growth and so on. So I'm going to pick cell growth and I'm going to pick all of the articles from from that sub 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 category of the plus one journal. Okay so we're going to download now 566 articles. What's also important about AntCoreGen is and the plus one journal database is that we can collect the fields from the different journal articles for example, the title, the author, the abstract, the introduction, the materials, the results, the conclusions, and so on. So for this demonstration, I'll collect the title, the abstract, the introduction, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusions. But there are other options I could also pick, including downloading the original PDF file. So one more option that we can consider here is to not download all 566 articles, but just a subgroup of those. Um, so here I'm going to just download 100 articles from, from that area. So we have our folder selected, we have our maximum number of hits, we have our categories chosen and our fields. So now all we need to do is click the Create Corpus button and and CoreGen will go to the database, download the files, and save them into that folder. And we can see an update as the files are downloaded here. And you can see now that of 603 articles, um, you'll notice that there's a slight difference between the number shown in the category section and in the actual total hits. And that's based on just the results coming back from the database. So out of 603, we have 100 downloaded. So I'll click OK. And now we can actually close and call Gen. Um, 
because we now have in our my corpus folder we have the different um, sections of these journal articles saved. You'll notice that abstract has two separate categories, the abstract and the primary display, and this is because um, PLOS One has two different versions of the abstract which is saved, and I think the primary display option is perhaps the better one. There's also an automatic uh, folder of IDs so that um, you can go back to the journal online and find exactly what that article was. And finally, here's an example of the introductions, and we can open that, and we can see here that we have a nice introduction, and uh, we can see that. And of course, we can now load these data samples into a concordance program, like AntCong, for example, and analyze the language of these. So, that's how to use AntCorgen. I hope you'll find it useful.